this YouTube channel is earning a substantial amount of money by creating very minimalistic children's learning videos. They are just simple 2D animations and some of their most viral videos have over 50 million views and counting. If we go to Social Blade and check the stats on this channel, they have almost 2.8 million subscribers, over 24 million views in the last 30 days, and an estimated monthly earning of between six and $97,000. But don't worry, today I'm going to show you how you can also create diamonds like this in under 20 minutes, of course, with the help of AI tools. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to AIPRM.com. This is a Chrome extension for ChatGPT that you can install into your Chrome browser. So then we're going to go to ChatGPT. And what you're going to notice now is that you can use the script function. So we're going to ask ChatGPT to create a children's script for us for a show about animals. There must be at least three animals to explore and ChatGPT is going to do a great job of giving me the script. What I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna copy this over onto a Word document because that's gonna be a lot easier for me to use. Then I'm going over to 11labs.io for our voiceovers and the cool thing about it is if we go to voice lab, we can go and find the kind of voice that we would need for this children's uh, show. So if we go to voice library, it's gonna provide us a whole lot of choices here. We want something that fits the childish kind of theme. So let's look at some of the options here. The only thing to do with good advice is to pass it on. It is never of any use to oneself. Kindness is more important than wisdom. And the recognition of this is the beginning of wisdom. Once you find one that you like, you can then save it. If you head back to your main page, your speech synthesis page, you'll be able to, in the drop-down menu, choose the one. Next, we are going to change the settings, just make sure we're happy with them, the kind of voice that we're looking for. And then after that, we're going to input the first piece. Now we're going to go piece by piece, chapter by chapter, because we need about five scenes for our story. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the first piece and let's listen to how that sounds. Hello, young explorers. Are you ready to go on a learning adventure? Today, Explorer Emily will introduce us to three amazing animals from around the world. Let's get started. Okay, there's a few th changes that we need to make. Once we're happy with that, we can go ahead and download it. And I'm just going to rename each piece. And then I'm going to do the same thing for each other scene that I have created here. After that, we're going to go to adobe.com forward slash express. And this is the Adobe Express page. Now, the cool thing about it is everything we need to create our character is going to be right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down a little bit. In the video functions, we're going to look for quick actions and you'll see this, this animate from audio function over here. So we're going to click on that. First thing we need to do is change the background color. We need a green screen background. And then we have a whole lot of different characters that we can play around with here. Some really, really interesting characters uh, for our animation. Once you find one that you like, we're gonna go ahead and choose Tull. And you're gonna see over here, it has the browse function. We're going to put in our first scene over here. And in a moment, it's going to produce it. So let's see how that sounds. Hello, young explorers. Are you ready to go on a learning adventure? Today, we will introduce you to three amazing animals from around the world. Let's get started. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for each one of our scenes. Then after that, we're going to go to canva.com. So now that we've, we're in Canva, you're going to go to the video functions. You're gonna look for the video landscape function. And we're going to go to elements here. 
and now we're going to look for a background so i'm going to look for a cartoon background classroom if you have canva pro you will have access to the pro images if not that's okay you'll find something that you can work with so now that we've created this this is a simple clean background for what we need to start our video off with our character first thing we need to do is have a look at the time frames for each one of our videos so if you look at your videos it'll give you the time and now we need to match up the setting to be exactly the same time frame so the first one is going to be eight seconds great stuff then i want to show you what canva can do in terms of just creating really cool fun animated backgrounds our next scene is going to be about africa where our elephant is going to be so we're going to look for some birds to put into our image now i've tried this first one not great but let's go into see if there's others oh wow bird formation flying in flying v now it's already animated and it's moving but if we go to animate we can actually create a kind of track for this animation to follow and if you just move it click on it move it that's what's going to happen in your picture you can decide if you want it to be original smooth or steady smooth just means it's going to smooth the motion we can also slow down the speed so this is where canva is incredible so let's go ahead and add a few more details in let's look for our elephant so we're going to put our elephant into the picture maybe play around with the animations or even if we just want it to keep still that's fine and now we're going to do the same thing for the rest of our scenes canva is blowing me away with its functionality right now once we've created our scenes and we've made sure that we've adjusted the length to be exactly the same length as our audio the next thing we're going to do is go over to formora.wondershare.net and don't worry all the links will be in the description below and what you're going to do is you're going to go and download it for either your mac or for your windows pc once you've done that and you've set up your account this is going to be your dashboard so we're going to import all the information great stuff so once we've done that we are going to take our first clip we're going to apply it there and then we're going to take our character and we're going to put it right over the top okay so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to access the chroma key function your green screen will disappear now what we need to do is there's the shirt is a little bit off color because it was a, there was a little bit of green in it so we need to go and play around with that so let's head over to the tolerance function over here and if we drag it up a little bit you'll notice that our character's shirt reappears which is great and now we can play around with exactly where we need this character now you'll notice that i didn't adjust the length accordingly formora has the snapshot function where you can actually just take a picture of your scene and luckily there's nothing moving in this picture so all i need to do is take that snapshot and i'm going to put it next to our timeline there and just cut that piece out and then you'll see it fits in beautifully Then we go to the next scene and we're going to do exactly the same thing adjust the tolerance make our character a bit smaller wow that is looking fantastic i'm also going to put a bit of a gap between each of the scenes because i want it to slow down a little bit okay so we do our final scene i'm going to make some minor adjustments now the cool thing about Fomori here if you go to stickers you can add the different effects that you're going to you're going to see so you can get people to like and subscribe once they've seen your video and then we can add some music to it so formora has a great choice of uh, children's music that we can use these are for commercial use as well once we're happy with everything we can go ahead then and export it now we can upload it directly to youtube by putting in those details and adding a thumbnail or we can save it to our computers as well so we can add a general description we're going to save it and let's have a listen to what it's created hello young explorers are you ready to go on a learning adventure today we will introduce you to three amazing animals from around the world let's get started our first stop is the african savanna to meet the elephant did you know elephants are the largest land animals they love to eat plants and have big ears to keep them cool 
Next, we're diving into the ocean to meet the dolphin. Dolphins are very smart and social animals. They communicate with clicks and whistles. Our last stop is the Amazon rainforest to meet the colorful macaw. Macaws are known for their bright feathers and strong beaks. They love to eat fruits and nuts. And there you have it, explorers. Three amazing animals from different parts of the world. Thanks for joining us on this educational adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun learning. See you next time. Oh wow, that is actually pretty, pretty cool. So guys, there you have it. That is exactly how to create your own animation in under 20 minutes. Just as a recap, I'm gonna show you here, if we look at 11 labs pricing, you're looking at currently a dollar per month for over 30,000 characters, but 10,000 characters per month for free forever, which is more than enough for what we need for our animations. Then AIPRM has a prompt library for ChatGPT. It's kind of pricey, but you can get away with the free version with plenty of functionality. And then Adobe Express, you're looking at, wow, this is, this is a great tool. And at $10 a month, you have access to those animations and a whole lot of other things that Adobe is going to give you. So, wow, it's very cool. Then we have Canva, which you're looking at about under $10 a month for the amazing things that Canva can do. And Filmora, you're looking at about $80 for a perpetual license. So a once-off payment that will allow you to use Filmora for the rest of your life on your computer. It is a steal. We hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to like and subscribe for more content just like this.